Miss Fit, are you interested in the camera? What you doing? What's going on you guys? Cut here for another video and I'm really excited because in this one I hinted this video is going to come a few videos back. So I said, okay, my silver Integra, the paint is really bad, so I don't care if the paint is bad. I'm going to try this and if worst case scenario doesn't look good, I'll go ahead and get the damn thing painted. But that being said, we're going to try to make my Integra look like the initial D wrap that you see on all these cars that's happening recently. I'm really excited to try it. I've already done a little bit of it and I think it's coming out really good, so let's go see. Before I get started real quick, I just want to give a real quick update on Candy Corn. Uh, as you can see, the car is apart right now. It's because the knock sensors went bad and I was just replacing them. And I'm waiting on a damn part from Rock Auto because I broke one, of course, obscure part. And I need to wait five days for it to get here, but whatever. That being said, I have some new valve covers and that's what they look like on the car. But let me show you what they look like in person. I have these really cool, like, American Flag USA painted valve covers. I found these on Facebook Marketplace and honestly, for the whole thing I'm trying to do with the candy corn. I think I got the perfect valve covers because it really fits the personality of this car. That being said, I broke the oil fill too because this car has almost 200,000 miles and it's never been replaced and this guy was an idiot before me. But that being said, I'm going to throw this one on when I get the tube and the candy corn will pretty much be done. So that being said, that's candy corn. Let me go ahead and show you the Integra. Alrighty, so here's the silver Integra and as you can see, it kind of already started right here. And I mean, like I said, I'm just going to try this because one, it's going to be fun and then two, if anybody is going to say that this is going to ruin the paint, I think it's already pretty ruined. So that being said, I'm going to try to make it look like it's from Initial D. Let's see how it goes. In first case, we'll get it painted. So let's get started. Alrighty guys, let me give you a little walk around what I've done so far. So as you can see, I'm honestly just starting with like the edges. So I've done the bottom edges there. I'm trying to make it look pretty good on the edge there, done around. And I didn't think this far ahead. I washed the car like 20 minutes before I did this, so there's some water I have to deal with. And you know, of course the rust, but it's looking pretty good so far. I'm gonna go pretty crazy here soon. I'm just trying to get all the edges covered. But yeah, so let's see how it goes. Alrighty you guys, as you can see already, it's kind of looking pretty good so far. So what I've done as of right now is I go through all the gaps on the whole, you know, body and all that, like the doors and blah, blah, blah. I'm really proud of the front bumper because as you can see, it looks pretty good. And this is all just me doing the outline. Unfortunately, I ran out of light tonight, so I'm going to start tomorrow. But as I do it tomorrow, I'm going to do the whole, like, body lines and all the other fun stuff. So this is how the car looks right now, but I'm excited to see how it turns out. Alrighty, everybody, here's some more updates on the car. So number one, I went through and did even more body lines. I did the gas cap and some little accents there. Went ahead and did both door handles and a little side trim on both sides of the car. Did the mirrors as well, so those look pretty cool. And the main part I've done so far is the hood. As you can see so far, it's already looking pretty good. I also did the Integra in black, and yeah. The main reason I wanted to do this whole project is I got inspired by this one guy on Instagram. I think it's like KB Maroney or something. I'll put it in the description. He was the one who first started doing all these, you know, manga wraps on these cars and all these crazy paint jobs. So I really got inspired from him. He's a really cool guy. And I wanted to do it on the Integra because one, I mean, let's be real here. The paint on this thing is awful. So I mean, I don't care. I'm just doing this for fun. And then I need to get the car repainted eventually, but this is just in that in-between step. But I actually think it's looking pretty good so far. So yeah, I just wanted to explain. Let's get going. All right, here we go. So all of the hard lines on the car are done right now. As you can see, went ahead and did the hood with some accents so far, but I've already done the body lines and the, like I said, hard lines. Did the roof a little bit. And I think it's looking pretty good so far. So now that all the you know, hard lines are done. I'm gonna start adding these accents all over the car and see how it looks. Hey guys, so I'm done with the Integra already actually and I was gonna film the whole process but in between work and then stuff going on with the car and my other car, kinda got a little sidetracked so sorry about that but let me go ahead and show you the finished product cause oh my god, I'm so proud of this car. Before the big reveal or anything, as you can see, I did all these extra little lines and all that fun stuff on the car and it looks really, really neat. I'm honestly so happy with how this car came out. And I mean, like I said, this thing, again, keep in mind, has 280,000 miles on it, and one day I will get it painted, but this is going to be fun for the meantime. I really love how this is looking out. God, just look at this thing. So I got to just say real quick, I really just freehanded this and looking at, like, Google Images and all that stuff, and this actually came out really decently good, but this is my opinion. <laughs> I love it. Alrighty guys, and yeah, that is my Integra. Like I said, love how it came out. And hey, this was a lot of fun, and I'm gonna take this to a whole bunch of shows, take a whole bunch of videos on it, so stay tuned for that, because I also have a couple really cool parts on the way, some very custom ones too. That being said, so 
some stuff happened over this time when I was filming this project, and I have good news on the Camaro candy corn, and I have bad news on the S2000, so let me go ahead and show you all that. So as you can see by my S2000 here in the garage, I just got this thing out of the damn garage. I got air in the tires, was driving it around, punctures in this tire, two punctures in that tire, they're both slowly losing air. This tire has punctures and slowly losing air, and obviously, I don't think I need to say anything about the flat one back there. The other messed up thing too, I don't know what happened, I guess when I was driving it like this on the way home, but my alignment got knocked the hell out, so I don't know if something broke, whatever, but s thousands on bed rest, I guess, for a minute, but we're gonna get this thing back on the road. So unfortunately, it sucks I just got this thing back up, but we're gonna get it back up even better, so there's that. As you can see right here, the Camaro is in the driveway, and as you can tell right there, the front tire is considerably skinnier than the last time you saw it. Well, I traded my wheels, and look what I got. Boom. Lucky enough to get the chrome set of race stars for my Camaro. I wanted these for a hot minute, and they already came with some decent tires, so I'm pretty happy about that. It really makes the Camaro look nice and mean. And this thing hooks all 300 horsepower of it like no problem. So I'm really happy to have this. Yeah guys, so that's where I'm going to go ahead and end today's video. Again, we just did so much. We did the Integra. You saw what's going on with my damn S2000. And now the Camaro has some racing slicks. And you know I'm going to be throwing some more power on this thing. So go ahead and stick around. Appreciate you guys looking at the videos. And like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.